All right. Okay. This is the procedure for setting up uh, the 7200 ventilator on a patient and making sure you have all the settings and all the uh, alarms on accurately. Um, first thing to do on the machine is make sure that your filters are installed. We're going to leave the expiratory filter in there because it's about to fall apart and I don't want it to break. So right. we don't have to worry about that one. But the, ins the inspiratory filter we'll need to put on. So I come over here and I find it. And it will fit only the right way. So if you put it in and it doesn't go on, then it's the wrong way. So this is correct. So once you have that on and the expiratory filter is on, you're ready to put the circuit on. So you take your circuit. It's important that the inspiratory limb of the circuit be connected to the inspiratory filter. Okay, and that's that And so thing. you can tell the inspiratory limb because it's the one that has this little tab. That's where the thermometer goes to. If you had a heated humidifier in line, it would constantly um, show the temperature of the gas that's going in. Okay. So here's the end. So that goes to the inspiratory filter. And so then, of course, the other one is the expiratory filter. So that goes down the bottom here. Okay. Now I need to connect my suction and my HME. This is the heat moisture exchanger that we use if we don't have a actual heated humidifier and that will go on the Y of the circuit and again it only fits the right way so you put it in like that and then you take your Ballard assembly this is for inline suctioning and this end of this tube goes on here and that way when the patient's on the vent you can suction, suction you and without breaking the circuit open okay right. now before we put our settings in, we want to attach a test lung to that just because it, it helps uh, eliminate a nuisance alarms while you're putting your settings in. So there's the test lung. Okay.